Building your game for Windows in Unity is very easy. Go to File, then Build Settings. This is where you need to add your scenes to the top menu. In the lower left corner, click on Player Settings to view basically the build settings for the game, though it's called Player Settings. I uploaded an image to use as the icon and updated the version to 1.0 for the initial release. This build will give us a folder with all the files, along with the application file needed for distribution. But this isn't very helpful. To get this game to our players, we would need to zip it and distribute that zipped file that the player would need to unzip and find the application file, and we can do better. Head over to Inno Setup, link in the description. This program will create an installer file for us, and it's free. At the top, click Download Inno Setup, then scroll down to find the latest version, and then click Random Site to download and run. It's small and easy to operate, but there's a little trick to it. When it opens, we need to create a new script using the wizard. However, before we upload our game files, we need to modify the folder structure. Create two new folders within your game's build folder. Copy the name of the data folder for your game like this, then drag it into a new folder, and rename the new folder to the exact name of the data folder, and then do the same for your other folders. Now we can create the installer. Give your application a name and version, and if you have a company name, enter that here. For the game's website, I'm just using this YouTube channel. I leave the destination default and allow the users to change the installation location. The application executable file here is the main application file Unity spits out in the folder. Select that here, then add all the files and folders from that package into this window, like so. I leave the type and extension as defaults. I leave these two options checked as well. This gives the player a desktop shortcut option and makes it easy to get into the game. I don't have any license info, so for me this is all blank. I leave admin mode on, and by default the rest is unchecked. English is the only language I have for this. This screen is where you name the actual install file, and give it a save location on your computer. I have a folder called installer, so I can keep this easy. The name of the file is otrc installer x86 in parentheses, so it should be familiar to Windows users. No password necessary, and I don't have a custom image. I let the compiler by default do its thing and then get it started. The script it runs will take a few minutes. I've sped it up, of course, to get through this a little quicker. When the script is done, it will give you an installation file that runs like every other installation, giving your player a familiar experience. We can create the desktop icon shortcut and use that to launch the game. Now that we have our installation file, and because I've been doing this series on YouTube as well, I've got a whole bunch of marketing materials ready to go, I'm ready to upload the game to itch.io. Here I am signed into my account. You'll see Clone Attack here. This was a game I made for a game jam. We'll cover that one later, so make sure you subscribe for that content as well. In the upper right-hand corner, click on your account and go down to Upload New Project, at which point you're presented with all of these options that we have basically ready to go. So the name of the game, this is the title, this is Old Town Racing Crew, and we want to upload a cover image. This is the image that's also seen on the homepage of Itch if someone finds your game this way. I made a folder with all of my resources, so I have the OTRC cover. I just made these in Canva. Canva is a free art program that you can use online. And I think that kind of gives the best image of the game, so that people will know it's a driving game at least. There's a spot for a gameplay video or trailer, so I'm going to edit this later to add that YouTube video with the promo that I will have to upload separately. So let's add some screenshots now. The idea with my screenshots here is that I want the screenshots and the length of my description to be the same. So the way the games appear on itch is that the screenshots are on the right and I want my, my description of my game to equal the length of those screenshots. So hopefully that makes sense, but we'll see that a little bit later on. A short description or tagline. Classification, of course, is a game. The kind of project is a downloadable, right? So they have to download the file. This is not a WebGL project. This is going to be some. Uh, this is going to be a file that is downloaded and then installed. It is released. I'm going to do a suggested donation of three dollars because the company is level three games. I think that's kind of cute. Or zero. No one has to pay to get this game. This is just how it works. Uh, it's just going to try and get you some extra money when people download your game. That's it. You could make it a paid game only, or you could say no payments at all. I, I like the donate option because it makes people kind of feel like maybe they could donate to me, and I'm okay with that. And this is where we upload the game. There is a limit 
uh, there, there is a limit to the file size. It's one terabyte, so you want to make sure your games are smaller than that. And they should be uh, after going through the installer. I save all of my games in an installer folder. I've got the o OTRC installer x86 file. This is for Windows only. We're going to upload the game here. And in the description box, I've already saved a description, so I'm just going to paste that in. checked it out and the genre we're gonna go ahead and put in racing tags single player I like Let's see if we have racing or driving I like casual because it's a very short game there's all kinds of stuff in here uh, yeah let's just tag it as a racing game okay I'm good with those three it doesn't have to be crazy there is no link to Steam the App Store Google Play or the Amazon App Store or anything like that so all I'm going to put in here, this is the download and install instructions. I'm going to put download and run the installer. Just like that. You can download and run the installer. You can then uninstall as normal if you wish. So it just installs it like a normal application using the uh, Inno setup that we did earlier. We're going to save and view the page. Oh, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. We're still uploading? Yeah, okay. So we are going to wait for the upload to finish and then we'll save and continue page perfect okay so this is what we want to see so now when people download it's going to download the installer hopefully this ends up being very clear to people comments can be made my youtube information is there the the directions for the game are there i feel like i should highlight if you get stuck if i remember there's a little bit of an editor yeah if you get stuck I think that's subtle enough. Let's save that, view the page. Yeah, I think that's subtle enough. I like that better. And that's how we upload a game to itch.io. This game is readily available. Link to play it is in the description. You can check out the full playlist for this game right here and subscribe because coming up we've got the Clone Attack series and then a horror game coming up after that one.